Welcome back to the Daily Smash for Tuesday afternoon, December 27th, 2022. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. We are in Cabo, enjoying a week of fun in the sun. Woo! <laughs> fun in the sun! Coming up on this show, the story of Kelly's fall early Saturday morning and a highlight reel of our jet ski adventure on the waters out here. Very, very cool. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you showed this to me, this sick trend on TikTok. Oh, tired. Of... <laughs> Am I boring you? No, I'm just, it's, I'm exhausted. Yeah, this We've is hard a... work being on vacation. It is. There's a sick trend on TikTok of like announcing celebrities who died, who didn't really die. Oh, Julie tried doing that to me. Oh, she did? Yeah. What did she say? Julie, what did you try to tell me who died? Beyonce? Oh, Rihanna. Julie's favorite is Rihanna, and Julie's obsessed with Rihanna. She's got her books. Um, Rihanna has a book? Oh, yeah, Julie, in her room. You know how Julie has that big, huge book of Rihanna? Oh, the picture book. Yeah, the picture uh. book of Rihanna, and she, Julie's, like, obsessed with the baby. Julie's obsessed with Rihanna, and so am I. So we love Rihanna, and I love her makeup. I love everything about her. And Jolie said to me yesterday, last night, she goes, Mom, Rihanna died. And we already saw that thing on TikTok where people yeah. said, yeah, so. So they, um, the people are rolling on their mom or their grandma or whoever, and they're like, oh, my God, Bruce Springsteen died, or Stevie Nicks died, or John Bon Jovi died, and, and then getting their reactions, people freaking out. Yeah. Cher dead at 81. No. My Cher? Oh my God. Howard Stern dead at 68. What? <gasps> what? Zach Efron dead at 35. No, 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 no! <laughs> Mom! Yeah. What? Oprah Winfrey dead at 68. No! no! Oh my God, Neil Cavuto dead at age 64. No! no! <laughs> oh my God. Did you see John Travolta? passed away no 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 don't say that to me no no oh my god bon jovi dead at 60. alexa did bon jovi mom pitbull dead at 41. who's pitbull <laughs> pitbull he died at 41. Really no died. fucking way hey go keith morrison dead at 75. no <laughs> what? Jesus. Jesus. No, but Julie tried to do it to me, and then I <laughs> you, caught it. <laughs> yeah, you weren't gonna be. No, fooled. I went. No, at first I go. <gasps> Someone did share. Yeah. Howard Stern dead at sixty-eight. Oh God, I hope so. <laughs> that guy's a douchebag. I can't stand him. That guy's the biggest moron on earth. I mean, that guy was so scared. He didn't come out of his room. Yeah. But he did make, he does make a ton of money. So he's, he's. I don't know who listens to him. I think the guy is a complete moron. I used to listen to him a lot. Yeah, I did too on my way to work back in 2001. And back then in now the day. I just think he's just, listening to him, he's just, I don't know. Okay. He's just too woke for me. I don't, I don't know. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's tell the story of your tumble as we're getting, going to the, before we went to the airport on Saturday morning. So it was about 3.45 in the morning, pitch black in my house, and then I have this luggage, this remois, it's hard cased, it's hard, like, it's not like a regular plastic suitcase, it's like really, really hard. And, and open, open on the floor, because that was the, the last bag that to finish packing. So I hear my ring go off. So we have like a ring and ADT and whatever, but the ring went brink. And so I looked at it and I see a guy walking by our house at 3.30 in the morning. And I jump out of the bed and I went to open up the door and the suitcase, that hard suitcase was open. And I... On the floor between the bed and, and the door kind of so exit of the I bedroom. I hit, I cut my, my foot and I legit went down Boom, man down, hard, and Jolie thought that there was an explosion. <laughs> Wait, can, can I, so, so I'm asleep, the alarm goes off, and I close my eyes again to fall back asleep, but Kelly got up, 
to check out the ring, I guess. I thought you were going to wake up Jolie. Yeah, well, I, well I, I went to go check out the to see if somebody was downstairs and to wake up Jolie at the same time. But I woke everybody up. It yeah. was like a, so a natural alarm. I'm, I'm sleeping, and then I hear this, dum, 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 dum. And then her scream, and then like whimpering. She screams, the bam, 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 and then she's like down no, on the ground. No, like this. And <laughs> like loud, like a crash. And then I hear her like. Oh. So I pop out of bed, I turn the light on, I look, and she is splayed out on the floor, like past the suitcase, like you fell over the suitcase. Look, I have like wounds all over my, <laughs> I got my whole shin. My shin is all cut up. But my up. first thought is, my okay. My foot is all cut up. We're supposed to leave for the airport in 30 minutes. I thought I broke something. And I'm thinking, oh, she she must have she must have broken something. So now we got to go to the emergency room. We're going to miss our flight. I don't know how we're going to get down to Mexico. So I go over to check on her. I'm like, babe, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? Meanwhile, uh, everyone in the house is like now awake and awake. thinking that, yeah. that, you know, she fell through the floor or something. Like it was that loud. Never in my life was I ever happy to be big bone, but I'm big, <laughs> I'm big bone. So I didn't break anything because my Shocking. mom, my mom is little boned and she's broken two ankles. She bro broke two of her wrists. She, my mom's like fragile. Well, I'm going to say right now, you c very well could have broken an ankle. Very well could have and should have broken a wrist. Yes. My wrist is all, was... Like all bloody, my you, foot was all bloody. You could have smashed your face. Oh you could yeah. Could have broken your nose. Could have broke my teeth. Yeah, any number of awful things could have happened. So oh, thank God. I know. It didn't. Yeah, I know. Thank God. Oh, are you okay? Yes. And then she was a trooper. Like I was like, babe, you know, when we get to the airport, we can get you a wheelchair, <laughs> and you won't have to walk because there's a lot of walking in the airport. No, you know, I hate people that do that. <laughs> I hate that, especially at Disneyland. But you had that a legit... really pisses me off. You know, it really makes me mad. People are very capable of walking their fat butts around that park, but you know what? They they do it on purpose to get into the front of the line. It makes me so angry. That's why I mean, I, I it just makes me mad. But yeah, okay. Well, you didn't do it. You were a trooper. Um, I did carry your carry on for you. Yes. But you walked. Yeah. You walked, and, and... Well, I mean, like my friend uh, Rebecca. Talking about her son has uh, what is it called? Um, what is it like Rain Man? What is it? Um, um, uh, autism. Um, but he, he he's like, but he's got the kind of autism that's like defiant. Like he he's like really hard to handle. But now that he has this thing that he, that he can show to get to the front of the line, she's like, you know what? I'm using it. You know, I'm going, he's got this disability yeah. and this is the only thing that I can like say that I'm happy about him having this disability. To, to, <laughs> I didn't to get, know this. To, so he, she uses that to, to skip the line at the airport? No, at Disneyland. Oh, at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I agree with that one. That's not bad. Cause that, is that, I'm sorry. I just realized you were trying to take a sip and I was trying to take it from you. <laughs> I, I'm a, we didn't I'm, drink any alcohol today. No, so zero. We have my girlfriend at her house right down here. She's got staff, and they make you every kind of alcohol you want. They have Camus. They have like Screaming Eagle. They have martinis, uh -huh. and it's so hard to not, say no. To say no. <laughs> so we get up there, and I'm like, I am not drinking today. So Rick goes, We're not drinking today. I go, Okay. We sit down for dinner. And Rick goes. Um, I'll have a glass. I no, look at him. no, no. And you go, I want to have a drink. Really I said, bad. I would love a glass of wine. And I looked at you and you go, I'm not drinking. <laughs> and I go, you're right. I'm not drinking either. I'm going to have some discipline. Yes. I didn't order it. I just said out loud that I would well, like. Well, if I would have said, <laughs> all right, I want a glass of wine. Rick would have said, yeah, I want some wine. That's 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 usually I all right. If I would have said I'm one and wine, I'm not going to disagree with you. Would I, would I you have think done it? I would have caved. But this is why we, we help each other out. Yeah. You know, it takes teamwork to make the dream work, as you like to say. And exactly. We were a team. We, we worked we, out today. I'm like we, we worked know, out hard. We worked out hard. Yes. Yeah, we, we're we're getting back into it. Oh, and then um, Jolie and I went water. Do we, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jet skiing. Not, water, water, not waterboarding. <laughs> we went waterboarding. <laughs> we, we, we got tortured today. Yeah. Uh, wave runners. Wave runners. Yes. So much fun. I hadn't done it in a long time. Here's a, here's a highlight reel. What's up, Jolie?
what I really wanted to do was see whales because there are whales out there. Oh, yeah. And I brought my phone so I could shoot video, not just of us jet skiing, but also I wanted to get video of whales up close. And I was looking, I was scouring the horizon the whole time we were out there. And apparently there was a whale at one point, but we were facing the other way. You can see whales from here. Yeah. It's whale season. So t tomorrow... They, they bird their calves here in Cabo. They come down from Alaska. To give birth. Yes. Did you know that uh, whales are just like cows? It's the bull and the cow. And the calf. Yeah. I Which knew is that. so weird. I watched Nat Geo. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to go back out on those jet skis in the morning, I want to say, on Wednesday uh -huh. to try and get whale video. Okay. Okay. Get your whale on. Uh, in the news now. In the news. Um, we talked about this earlier about how it's a good thing we didn't wait till Monday to fly because of all those yeah. canceled flights. Um, but this was the bigger story that I saw that I that really struck at, struck a nerve with me in Buffalo, where they're going through this blizzard and awful conditions. Looters ransacked stores in Buffalo while police were stuck elsewhere. Oh my gosh! The mayor said, "I don't know how these people can even live with themselves. How they can look at themselves in the mirror. They are the lowest of the low." Some businesses had their windows smashed and merchandise damaged and stolen as snow and ice pummeled the region. Buffalo cops made a few arrests, according to the police commissioner, who added that investigations into other incidents con continue after widespread reports of looting on social media. And there are a couple of pictures of people in stores. They were just going, and, and, and the mayor said they, they didn't need this stuff. These weren't people who were starving. These were just people taking advantage of a, of a situation. You know, I just don't understand how people don't have morals or a moral compass of what's right and what's wrong. You know, there's no more of that anymore. Well, like, there, it's a free for all. You can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Uh, there is no right or wrong it's, anymore. Like, I just don't understand. It is a sin to steal. And we've seen uh, over the last couple of years uh, this sort of turn your back, look the other way, let that, let it go. They're not prosecuting uh, shoplifting anymore or petty thefts. Remember, like up to $1,000, like you can steal whatever you want up to $1,000. Basically giving people a green light to take what they want. Or what about, or what about, so we're going to talk about this on our Patreon about uh, John Legend and all these people uh, doing this, uh, what is it? They had a bail the, fund. The, the, get out of bail fund and then this guy comes in and kills. Well, no, he, he shot a waiter 11 times the waiter survived and now that waiter is suing that bail fund good along with his bosses for not protecting him and for letting this guy out uh for, for bailing him out without knowing the full story or apparently his criminal history and then the guy shoots him and robs him <clears throat> um just to finish up this thought the 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 city of buffalo was trying to handle travelers who were stranded in their vehicles clogging roads, snow-related emergencies, welfare checks on people's homes to make sure they were alive, and in some cases they were dead. This is what the police were doing. And because the police were busy trying to save lives and, and keep the community safe and, and, and clear roads, et cetera, they just started robbing stores. You know what? We went to uh, a, a Clipper game, and Rick and I go into this market. You have to put your credit card in. Oh, in the arena. In the arena. Yeah. You put your credit card in, and it opens it up for you. You can go and get grab whatever you want, and there's no cashier. Yeah. They have cameras everywhere, and they know what you took, and then they charge your credit card accordingly. Yeah. That's where the future is going to go, with all these freaking hoodlums. Right. You can't this get in is without... Exactly, this is exactly where that's going to go. I Watch. Think, mark I, my words. I think you're right, and I think this could help. To yeah. solve it. If you can't get in without a credit card, and then once you're in, everything gets charged to your card. I mean, people can steal credit cards, use stolen cards, but whatever. Um, we appreciate you watching very much. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. And Kelly mentioned our Patreon podcast. It's the Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon. It's longer, unfiltered, uncensored, and commercial free. <laughs> 
So we hope you'll check that out. We have 70 shows. The 71st show is this week, and you'll get access to all of them with your, uh, with your subscription. So we, we hope you'll check that out. And we'll be, see you back here on The Daily Smash tomorrow. Yes. Thank you, guys, my smashers. Have a smash-tastic day.